Good evening ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about lesson 33 of the harm of smoking. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about smoking. Smoking not only makes you smell terrible, it is also terrible for your health. If you smoke, everyone in your home is breathing in your secondhand smoke. Smoke makes your throat hurt, your teeth yellow and your lungs black. Smoking is also like throwing money away. Each pound of cigarettes you smoke is really money going up in smoke. You are burning money with nothing to show for it. If you smoke, I hope you will try to give up this destructive habit. You owe it to yourself and your family to live a healthy life. Lesson Father 34 How to pronounce English words correctly. Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about how to pronounce English words correctly. First, spell the word aloud according to the tip. Then read the word aloud according to the tip. Carefully imitate the sound. Then shout out the word as loudly as possible. Lastly, five word sentence to use this word. Think about what the word means in this sentence. If you follow this step, you will soon be proud of how you can pronounce English words. Lesson 35 How to Communicate Effectively Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the importance of clear communication. Clear communication means being able to really hear what someone is saying. You need to listen with your heart, not only your ears. Remember you have two ears but only one mouth. That means you should listen more and speak less. Listening as well as speaking is absolutely necessary for clear communication. Good communication is not as easy as it appears. It takes hard work and years of practice. Thank you for being here and listening to my speech. Lesson 36 English Prison Special Oath If you want to speak good English, you must enjoy losing face. You must enjoy making mistakes. You must enjoy speaking broken English. You must enjoy being loved. You must enjoy being a lonely hero. Good English speakers are the real treasure of our country. Lesson 37 Caring makes the world more beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about care. The biggest problem facing the world today is a lot of care. People only care about themselves, they don't care about other people. They don't care about the, their family. They don't care about the environment. They don't care about their community. Worst of all, they don't care about their country. I am here to encourage you to start caring. We all want to be treated fairly. We all want to be loved. We all want to be taken care of. We all need clean air to breathe. We all need clean water to drink. We all need green place to enjoy. We all share the same motherland. We all share the same emotions. Let's do our best to start caring more. Lesson 38, our success is up to you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be sure of success, you have to make sure that you study every day, that you improve yourself every day, that you progress every day, and that you work hard every day. Your success depends on your commitment. If you pour your heart and soul into what you do, you're sure to be successful. Lesson 39, how to be a good parent. Ladies and gentlemen, mothers and fathers, today I would like to talk about how to be a good parent. Being a parent is the toughest job in the world. Parents should be patient. Parents should help their children grow. Parents should not push their children too much. Parents should always be proud of their children. Parents should love their children unconditionally. Remember, nobody is perfect. If you want your child to grow up healthy and happy, please remember this important and practical advice. Lesson 40 How to be a great family. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I want to talk about building a better family. Everyone wants a better family, but most people don't know how to create one. Here are some helpful tips, boys and girls. You need to behave, you need to be kind, you need to always try your best. You need to believe in yourself and believe in your uh, parents. Your parents really want what is bad for you. Mothers and fathers, you need to be patient. You need to buy few things for your children and give them more of your time. You need to read more books to learn about being good parents. If your child see you 
reading books, he will love books too. You need to bring up your children by teaching them the value of hard work and by setting a good example. Children believe what they see more than what they are told. Be sure what your child is seeing the behavior that you want him tomorrow. I believe that we can make our families better as child by working and learning together. Lesson 41. Value your time. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about time. Time is too precious to waste. Time is our worthy treasure. If you waste your time, you waste, you waste your life. Never waste one minute of your time or other people's time. Get moving. Get excited. Take action. Do something to make your heart beat faster every day. Make the most of your time. Make the best use of your time. Time is a gift. Don't waste a single minute. Lesson 42. How to live productively. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about how to live a productive life. Every day is a gift. Even days that you will go or days, or days you feel down. Appreciate every day. Learn something new every day. Do something to improve yourself every day. Don't delay. Don't let your dreams die. Don't waste time. Just do it. Life is too short to waste even one single day. If you live every day fully and productively, you're about to succeed. Remember yesterday is a memory. Tomorrow is a dream before today. Lesson 43. Recipe for happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to talk about happiness. Where does happiness come from? It doesn't come from other people. It doesn't come from material things. It doesn't come from having a lot of money or power. It doesn't come from being popular. It comes from giving your best effort to everything you do. It comes from getting satisfaction from helping other people. It comes from growing smarter and wiser every day. The happiness you feel is equal. To the love you give, the more you give, the happier you will be. Lesson 44. My favorite type of meal. My favorite food is fast food. It saves a lot of time. I don't care for fancy dinners. I think people I think people should forget about wasting time and money on expensive food. It really doesn't matter if you eat expensive food or fast food as long as the food is nutritious. Lesson 45. Beautiful Hanok. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a very nice time here in Vietnam. There are many beautiful views, countless historical sites, and a variety of municipals for you to enjoy. Vietnam is a great place, great place to do business. Vietnam is a wonderful place for vacation. I hope you will fall in love with Vietnam. I believe Vietnam is a fantastic place to visit and a marvelous place to live. If there is anything I can do for you, please let me know. I hope you will visit Vietnam again and again. Lesson 46 of Family Speech I will visit Vietnam. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sad that speech is my favorite speech. Happy times always part too quickly. My two years stay in Vietnam will come to an end soon. I will miss you. I will miss my students. I will miss all my friends. I will miss Vietnam. And of course, I will miss Vietnam food. Vietnamese food. I will come back to Vietnam as soon as I can. Thank you for making my stay a wonderful experience. Thank you for your hospitality. Most of all, thank you for your unparalleled friendship. Lesson 47. Why exercise is important. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I deny to talk about exercise. More and more people are starting to realize the benefits of exercise. Exercise is the only way to have a healthy body and a healthy mind. Exercise is the only way to lose weight. There are many kinds of exercise. It is easy to choose one that suits you. The important thing to remember is that exercise needs to be a part of your daily life. Please take care of your body and start an exercise program today. Physical health and mental health can both be improved with regular exercise. See the day, see the moment, see control of your health. Exercise for longer, healthier life. Thanks for your attention. Lesson 48 My wishes. Ladies and gentlemen, I have many wishes. I wish people all over the world 
would love each other more. I wish people would stop wasting energy. I wish people would be less selfish. I wish people would would share happy feelings more freely and not keep their emotions shut up inside. I wish that people could find cures for cancer and AIDS. If so, I wish that the world could be a better place. Thank you for letting me share all my wishes with you. Lesson 49, The Dangers of GB. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to talk about television and how dangerous it is for children. Children do not want to watch television. Television is harmful to developing minds. Children usually watch far more television than their parents realize. Children should only watch television when there is an educational program showing on special occasions. It is a terrible habit to just casually turn on the television and leave it on for hours at a time. Remember when you switch on the television, you are switching off your child's mind when a variety sees it and limit your child's television time. That's a few things, but that's the most important piece of advice. Ladies and gentlemen, there are three things I want to talk about today. The first thing is think before you speak. Say positive things. Don't hurt other people with this. The second thing is treasure every breath. Um, life is life is precious. We shouldn't take anything for granted. We must be thankful for every breath. The third thing is nothing is impossible. If you believe everything you can, you can never doubt yourself. You can do anything. These three things have helped me throughout my life. Lesson 51, our parents are the most important teachers. Fathers and mothers are their children's good teachers. What they say and what they do determine why their children will be successful or not. Fathers and mothers should be neither to drink nor to indulge it. It's hard to be a good parent. That's why fathers and mothers should always study together the best way to raise a child. Lesson 52, reading properly. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I want to help you learn some of the most common greetings in English. Of course, there's the basic hello. There are also many questions such as how are you, how are you doing, how's everything, how's it going. All of these greetings are informal and very common in American English. In British English, it is more common to hear how do you do. If you are confused by all of this information, don't worry. You can always just say hi, a happy smile, and a comment. Hi, you friends, anywhere you go. Don't worry, just open your mouth and focus. You can master English and fun. As a pretty thing, turn right from wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about uh, the importance of knowing right from wrong. It is important to always do the right thing. But you know, the concept of the time is always right to do the right thing. These words are really true. You should always do to do the right thing. Even if it's harder than the wrong thing, you should ask and encourage everyone around you to do the right thing. Be honest, be fair, be kind. The right thing to do is always very simple to understand, but sometimes very hard to do. Let's help each other, remind each other, and encourage each other to do the right thing. Lesson 24 I'll Spend with Motherland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm from Vietnam. I'm Vietnam. I'm probably of my country and I'm probably in Vietnam. Vietnam has changed tremendously in the past 20 years. Vietnam has become a member of the world community. Vietnam is changing every day. Vietnamese people are embarrassing changes. Vietnamese people are also facing many challenges now. We are eager to learn from the world. I am here today to learn from you. I'm so we will learn very much from each other. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for giving me the chance to speak to you tonight. Lesson 55, the importance of work. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to talk about jobs. If you want to be, if you want to succeed, you must fall in love with your job. You must enjoy your job. If you don't change your attitude and just think of your job as a burden, you are not going to do any job well. Every job is important, no matter how small it might be. Every job can teach you something. Every job can contribute to society. Be proud of your job. Do it well. Learn to enjoy your job and you will enjoy your life much more. Remember, 
if you enjoy your job, you will never work a day in your life. As in pretty sick, uh, what is more important than money? Ladies and gentlemen, I should I that I should make a small speech about family. I have a question to ask all of you. What is the most important thing in your life? I know many of you say money is the most important. But I want to tell you, many things are more important than money in life. It seems that most people don't realize this family, health and happiness are much more important than money. Without family, health and happiness, money means nothing. Make sure you remember this important lesson and spend time with your family. People who spend more time with their families are usually healthier and happier. Precious minutes of family, of family time are worth more than money. Make your family your first priority. As in 57, a brief introduction to Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't like to give you a short introduction about Vietnam. Vietnam has a large population, colorful people and vast land. Vietnam land covers 9.6 million square kilometers. There are so many languages spoken in Vietnam. Vietnamese people are Vietnamese people love learning all kinds of things and are crazy about learning English. The future looks bright for Vietnam. Let's conquer English to show our love for our motherland. Thank you for listening. Less than 58 uh, noise pollution. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I would like to talk about noise pollution. There is too much noise in our cities. In some cities, you can't even hear someone speaking next to you. Noise is, hurt, is, hurting, is hurting our health and hearing. We need to do something to reduce noise. We need new noise to punish companies and individuals who make too much noise. Let's work together to reduce noise and create a more peaceful environment. Thank you very much for your, list, for your attention. Lesson 59. How to learn English well. Ladies and gentlemen, today I am going to talk about how about learning English. There are many ways to learn English. You can learn English through singing. You can learn English through reading. You can learn English through listening. And you can learn English through writing. But the best way to learn English is through speaking and reciting as many sentences as possible. The more sentences you can blurt out, the better English you will speak. As city, welcome to our hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our hotel. I hope you will eat well, sleep well, and enjoy our service. Now let me tell you something about our hotel. Our hotel is the oldest in the city. It has a long history. Uh, many famous people have stayed in our hotel. Although our hotel is old, it was recently removed. I'm sure you will agree our hotel is beautiful as well as comfortable. We warmly welcome you to come back again and again. Have a lovely stay here. As you see the one, keeping our world beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to take care of the world. We need to save water. We need to use less energy. We need to stop polluting. We need to watch our reactions. We need to protect our environment high and slow. We can't keep uh, our wasting in the world's resource. We can't keep abusing our environment. We need to change the way we live. We need to work together to make our world a better place. Lesson 62, Find for today. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to share an important quote with you. Yesterday is a memory. Tomorrow is a dream live for today. I hope that you will try your best to use your unique talents to make today productive and grateful. You cannot worry about your mistake of yesterday. You should not waste your energy worrying about what will happen tomorrow. The only thing you can control is what you do today. Make the most of today and you win everything. Thank you for your time and attention. And CT3 of beauties for learning English. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'd like to share a few tricks for learning English with you. First, try to speak English as much as possible. This will train your tongue muscle. Second, trust your ability. Uh, don't be afraid to speak. Don't be trapped by shyness. Third, don't let grammar trouble you. Don't be trapped by grammar rules. The most famous you speak. The more neutral the grammar rules will become. Actually, 
the truth is the new truth in learning English. You must try your very best to practice. Remember what parents train us. Thanks for your attention. I hope you will join us by English from today. As in City Ball, doing in the water is crucial. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and today I want to talk about how important English, how important it is to drink in the water. After says everyone needs to drink at least eight glasses of water each day. If you are outside in warm weather or exercise, you need to drink even more. If your mouth and throat feel dry, you are already dehydrated. Many headaches and other health are prone. Other health problems are caused by not drinking enough water. If you want better health, you don't need to do anything drastic. You can simply drink drink more water. Thank you for coming tonight and have a safe time home. Nation City Find the Power Post. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about the power push, which can explain the feelings, which can influence people, which can hurt people, which can encourage people, which can start wars and which can end wars, which can help you become a successful speaker and powerful leader, which can help you win friends, and that's why you pass over why we can miss the mistake was the machine was and learn how to use their power was beautiful and was should be unfair. That's why you should learn as many words as you can. Start learning and using new words today. Lesson 66. Have fun learning English before you begin to ask yourself a question. Why do I want to study English? It is because why you want to or because someone else wants to do. Like every lesson you in life, study English must be something you want to do. Once we have a son, you can write on your goals and you need to practice your study habits. You can begin to practice or study habits. You can begin slowly while from the regular practice of studying in order to reach the goal. After learning English, the things we do best in life are the things we enjoy doing. If you are having fun learning English, you are studying in the right way. That's in city, city seven. Also here, I am also here to understand you. I am also here to I am also here to support you. I am also here to love you. I am also here to cry you. I am also here to tell you. I am also here to sing you. I am also here to drown you. I am also here to study you. I am also here to tell crazy English with you. I am also here to learn and grow with you. Even though we might not also be together, please know that I am also here to love you. Lesson 68, I will keep on. No matter how difficult English is, I'll keep on learning. No matter how terrible my pronunciation is, I'll keep on repeating. No matter how many people give up, I'll keep on working hard. No matter how people laugh at me, I will keep on practicing. No matter how many mistakes I make, I'll keep on speaking. No matter how difficult I feel, I'll keep on trying. No matter how many obstacles I meet along the way, I will keep on striving until I reach my goal. As you said, my words, I can't stand my poor English. I can't stand my shyness and laziness. I can't stand my 10 years of the time. I can't stand being without power. I can't stand being never. I want to prove my situation. I want to change my life. I want to have confidence in myself. I want to be solid foundation for my future. I want to be successful. I want to be international. I don't want to let my parents down. I don't ever want to let my country down. Most importantly, I don't want to let myself down. Lesson 17. Home was built in day. Learning English is like being house and laying strong foundation the first and most important step. In other words, you should read and speak English every single day. Memorizing new words and parts is also helpful. Don't be impatient. Learn English will be better step by step, day by day, year by year. When you want to keep up, remember that nothing can defeat a person who will never give up. Room goes and in the day. If you want to learn English well, you need to have some foundation in pronouncing. And learn by heart, sentence by sentence, passage, let out. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Don't be afraid of being never catching the chance to speak. Practice every single day. Make videos as a great way to learn English. Lesson 71. I have a great mother. 
I have a great mother. I think she's the most successful person in the world. When I am sad, she's the most supportive. When I am sad, she's more concerned. When I am in trouble, she's more helpful. In fact, she's the most dependable person in the world. She's the closest person to me. She's not only my mother, but also my best friend. Let's understand the truth. Learn English starts from where? Hi, my friend. When you students ask me, where should I start learning English from? This is a great question for new learners or for people who use to my English learning plan and then fail and quit. So in this video, I will tell you what you really need to learn English and where to start very simple and fast. Uh, I know all students worry about learning English, but in fact, learning English and speaking English is not as difficult as you think. Everyone knows how important English is, but not many people know how to start in the right way. First, you need the confidence in your own field. All English learners speak English poorly before they become excellent. That is the truth. Everyone made mistakes before getting better. Don't be sad and don't give up if you speak English not well at the beginning time. It is normal speaking poor English when you start learning. Don't be afraid of losing face. Don't be afraid of being leveled. You must enjoy. You must have your spirit to practice English every time you can. When others go out, go to sleep, you practice international mouth muscle. When others laugh at you, you keep smiling and keep moving. When others complain, you are practicing speaking English. And then when others fail to catch up, you are successful. Sooner or later, you must conquer English. Why not now? Sooner or later, you must English, you must speak English fluently. Now study English seriously. We start with the spirit of winners to have English passion and turn to soon build English learning habit. Learning English will be very easy if we like it and start uh, in the right way. So where do we start? From the passion and love that super English can wake it from you and then you can break through English every day. Okay, you, you move your hand and practice pronunciation, practice international mouth muscle. And then you shout out clearly English to break the fear. And then you accumulate as many English sentences and paragraphs as mm. possible. And then you dare to use English and talk to foreigners without any fear of losing face, without any fear of making mistakes. You can start learning English with all those things in super English and you will improve every day through special super English lessons. We will start practicing super English in this video. See you later. Bye bye. Lesson 73 The significance of failure. Failure does mean you are a failure. It does mean you haven't succeeded yet. Failure does, doesn't mean you have accomplished nothing. It does mean you have done something. Failure doesn't mean you have been a fool. It does mean you had no faith. Failure doesn't mean you you have been disgraced. It does mean you are willing to try. Failure does mean you are inferior. It does mean you are not perfect. Failure does mean you you wasted your life. It does mean you have a reason to start afresh. Failure does mean you should give up. It does mean you must try harder. Failure does mean you will never make it. It does mean it will take a little longer. Failure does mean God has abandoned you. It does mean God has a better idea. Lesson 74 So the child, I feel great today. I am happy, I am healthy. I love myself, I love people. People love me. I love English. English is super, super easy. I want to speak proper English. Nothing can stop me. I never stop when I'm tired. I stop when I'm done. I am a champion. We are champions. I want to change my life. Lesson 75 The spirit of only begin. You are my adversary, but you are not my enemy. For your resistance gives me strength. Your will gives me courage. And your spirit ignores me. And though I aim to defeat you, shall I succeed? I will not humiliate you. Instead, I will honor you. For without you, I am a less man. Lesson 76 You must enjoy losing face. If you want to speak English, you must enjoy losing face. You must enjoy making mistakes. You must enjoy speaking broken English. You must enjoy being loved. You must enjoy being lonely here. Good English speakers are the real choice of our country. Lesson 77 Have a good attitude. Poor attitudes need to poor communication. Poor communication needs to, need to know customer. No customer needs to know job. 
no job, no money, no money, no job in the end. A poor until run home, make it poor. That's all about medicine. See you in the next video. Bye.